Dairy farmers in the county of Nyandarua are embracing a new climate smart technique in a bid to boost milk yields and production as part of the reduction of rising cost of feed. With milk production stagnating for years due to poor quality fodder, a new approach combining better nutrition, training and sustainable forages is beginning to show results, especially among smallholders. Our reporter Dennis Otieno visited one such farm in the county and tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. In Nyandarwa County's cool highlands, dairy farming is both tradition and lifeline. But a poor quality forage and rising feed costs have kept milk yields frustratingly low for years. With the number of animals I have in this farm. Now, a shift is underway. Anthony Mugai, a dairy farmer in Matwiku village, is part of a growing number turning to climate smart forages to transform production. Back home. My parents used to have cows. So when we were schooling, we used to make a lot of cows, a lot of cows and a lot of milk. We could milk before we go to school. So I had a passion for that. After years in Nairobi as an engineer, Anthony returned home hoping farming would offer better returns. But like many, he struggled with low milk output and poor quality feed. I didn't have good fodder. I used to collect netting, which was a lot of farmers were growing and bringing it here to my shed for the animals. But when the project started here, that is why they introduced me to God fodder for the cows. By introducing forages like Lusan, Super Napier and Maize Silage and tailoring each cow's diet, Anthony saw his production leap from 60 liters a day to over 220. So we mix them together, and then, then we have the concentrates together. Each co the concentrate is measured with the amount of cow it's producing per day. So we don't give them the same amount per cow. We give us the much the cow is producing. The more it is producing out of milk, the more concentrates you feed the cow. Today, Anthony not only feeds his own herd, he sells silage and vines to fellow farmers. His success is being replicated thanks to targeted training by dairy experts. Reni Chemtai, a dairy nutritionist, helps small-scale farmers like Antonia build affordable feed plants using what grows best in their regions. At Antonia's place, uh, we were able to uh, establish different varieties of uh, the nutrient-dense uh, climate smart forages. And uh, these forages, <coughs> we were able to walk through with Anthony right from soil testing, establishment, management, conservation. And after that, uh, these forages are taken through nutritional analysis at the labs, after which uh, we are able to apply the results or the nutritional results to be able to come up with a good uh, balance ration, uh, depending on the Anthony's cows and be able to feed the cows for, for, for optimum production. A three-week feed trial with just two cows convinced Anthony to apply the new feeding method to his entire herd. And after some time, Anthony started improving his production at the farm level. From 60, he was able to come to 80, to 150. And uh, I'm happy to report he has, uh, the highest he has been uh, more than 200 liters as we speak. Data from the Kenya Dairy Board shows the average Kenyan consumes about 110 liters of milk per year, or roughly 300 milliliters a day. Anthony reckons with better feed and training, this number could rise, boosting nutrition, rural incomes, and national output.